Like say Shalom, call Loyam La, Yahweh Bashim Yao Shah. Don't sleep at the bottom of those of GMS, Anasad Akiyam, and peace and best to you, brothers and sisters that listen. Don't feel elect. Call Loyam La, Yahweh Bashim Yao Shah. And uh, Sign Nigga, Sign Netta. Right? You know, seen the video where you said, man, I'm going to think I'm going to just take it. Right? I'm going to just take it. You see, I'm going to take the jump shot. I'm going to take Vanessa. Wow. No different than his boy Tazariak, which he keeps debating them clowns up there. Proves that, shows and proves that the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is not with that guy, man. Right? It's not with you, man. That's why you said to take the jab openly underneath your boy General Gehenna, Yahana. All right? False prophets up there at the ICBK. You see? And Sanetta, he just heard the brothers from Dallas say, don't take it. See, but. Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is doing that, man. You see, because you took this word for granted and was scoffing and mocking at it for years, son. It. And this is what the Most High said. I'm going to do a quick, quick um, video on this through the power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. So the Most High said, going to happen to you, man. Isaiah 30, verse 3, it says. It says, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be ashamed and the trust in the shadow of Egypt. You guys trust in the shadow of Egypt. Because Egypt is no more. Egypt is not even an empire anymore, man. Egypt been fell. It was just a tourist spot. Okay, and you take it down to these Jakes today. They trust in the modern day Egypt, Babylon. And they trust in who? The Pharaoh, which is who? Aisha. Okay, who has the Israelites in captivity. You see? But a lot of these these dudes from the conscious community, they trust in the, these um these gods or these relics or these empires that already fell in there. And the reason why that happened because you're blinded. The spirit of the Lord blinded you. He blinded you, man. And if you don't come into this knowledge, then you have no mercy. You have to pay for your own sin. And son nigga. He heard this truth countless times. And he even said it the other day, GMS is his favorite group. But then come out the other mouth and say, he's rolling with Kemet. So you're double, what? You're double-minded. And for being double-minded, that's going to lead to your ruin, man. As we see in that video clip. So I'm going to just take it. And you already got C-19, man. So that means you have the antibodies to fight it off already. See, but when you don't have faith... See, that's the difference between knowing the truth and um, truly believing or following it, man. He knows the truth. He knows this is the truth, man. See, but like we said, you're being blocked. And now, let me read Luke, the sixth chapter. All right. And we've been seeing the downfall of a lot of these guys as of late. Young Pharaoh came from that community. Polite came from that community. And the father of that community, saw nigga. Well, <laughs> he do say he's taking the job, man. Like we said, he went to Zariak. All right. Who have no business debating them clowns. Well, you see where his mind is at because of General Yohanna. But let me get this. Luke chapter 6. It says, And why call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? And that goes, Why call me Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, and you don't do the things which I say? All right? So that scripture says, Don't be a hearer of the word, but a doer also. And this is what? Whosoever cometh to me and heareth not my sayings and doeth them. I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which build a house and dig deep and laying the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose and the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it. So no matter what the enemy comes with, they can't shake our faith. Nothing is going to separate us from the, um, the love of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. Nothing. Right? Because this is all a scheme and a device of the wicked, man. This uh, Vanessa, man, this wickedness, man, right? It's a bioweapon, right? And it was designed, um, and it was, um, um, uh, what's the word? Look, oh, yeah, manufactured to destroy you, man. Okay? That's what it said, for it was founded upon a rock. But he that heareth and doeth not, like a lot of these guys, they hear it. They heard the word countless times. It's like a man without a foundation built in house upon the earth against which the stream did beat vehemently 
and immediately it fell with the ruin of that house was great. So the house of consciousness, the fall of that house is going to be great because it's not built on your house. It's built on the shadow of Egypt. Okay, and we all know what Yahweh Bashim Yahshua did to you Egyptians, man. Okay, that's why I'm gonna get Romans 11 chapter. No, let me get Ezekiel 33. Let me jump to Romans 11. All right, people are gonna know we have the truth, man. But right now, uh, which we're seeing more and more, celebrities and everybody knows this thing, man, but they don't fully do it. You see, Ezekiel 33 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, come, I pray you and hear what is the word that cometh from you. How about Shemiah Shah? And that's a lot of people. All right. But secretly, they talk shit and they come into unto thee as thy people cometh and they sit before thee as thy my people and they hear thy words, but they will not do them and that's the point i want to get man. these israelites these jakes they hear the words some of them might even believe this might but they're not doing it they're not rehearsing the righteous acts all right and they're not building up their faith in the mashiach man they're still attached to the ways of this world all right they still trust in egypt aka oppression for with their mouth they show much love oh gms is my favorite camp right but their heart goes after they covetous but i'm rolling with kemet you see, <laughs> and lo, they are unto them as a very lovely song, one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on the instrument for thy hear thy words, but they will not do them. And that's Israel, man. That's Israel all the way, man. And that's why two thirds of you going to be destroyed, man. That's exactly why, man. You hear the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, but you will not do them. And there's a reason for that. I'm going to get Romans the 11th chapter. Okay, and I'm going to get another precept in a minute. So like I was saying, Sarnetta, why couldn't Osiris or Isis or um, Horus, all right, or all these different gods, the Egyptians had all kind of gods, man. How come they can't save you from this um, this device that Aishah is bringing about on the planet Earth, man? Where are your comedic gods at, man? Where they at, man? Matter of fact, I'm going to put that precept after this, but let me get Romans 11, all right? Scripture just came into my mind. Let me do it now. It's the most high did. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse... Five. It says... Verse... In Romans 11, 3, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of the Most High unto him? I reserve to myself 7,000 men, the 144, who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Which we said right now, this is also an image of Baal. This is also an image similar to what Nebuchadnezzar set up. Okay? We're not following after it, man. Okay? Because in times past, these empires or these establishments, they try to set these things up. Which we know this was Jezebel during the time of Ahab. All right? Image of Baal, man. And then you had, um, like we said, with Nebuchadnezzar, you had it during the time of the Maccabees. All right? Which they tried to um, force us to conform to their ways. Even so, then, at this present time, also, there's a remnant according to the election of grace. And if by grace, then it is no more works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace, but is the works. Then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. What well, then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. Be it election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Right? Gross darkness, man. Right? Most I gave you over to your covetousness, man. He gave you over to this man. Right? And if you don't, you guys talk about you the conscious community. You don't know the works and the acts of this man, this devil, man, since we came here and you still trust in him, man. What about all the natural remedies and the, the, the bug outs you have on that channel? They can concoct nothing for you, man, to build up your immune system naturally. You gonna go take this man thing because a lot of you niggas, you're just full of shit man. at the end of the day, man. Like you, you're just all about money. man. You're not about the upliftment of the rising of your people. 
in no community. That's all a front. You're no different than these these pork eating devils you call uh, Christian pastors that you always criticize. You're no different. All right. It says, but then Israel have not that tag which that he seeketh for, but the election have attained it and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, the Most High had given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears they should not hear until this day, man. Until this day. And David said, let their table be a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. So this is supposed to be a comforter when you read the scriptures. But the scriptures also, it's a trap and it's a snare. It's a stumbling block, man. Okay. Like the scripture tell you how was shot was a rock of offense, man. He was a stumbling block to the wicked, man. All right. It says, let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back always, man. All right. So there you go, man. There you go. And, and now, like the Lord said, let me get these two last precepts. Let me get Jeremiah chapter 2. Verse 27. So I just did do this quick video. Nothing too long on you guys, man. You you dudes been going downward ever since this year kicked off all those dudes from that community the most high is bringing you down all right he's bringing you down that's why he said jeremiah 227 he said saying to a stock dart my father into a stone that has brought me forth a lot of you israelites you heavy into idolatry right a lot of you into islam that's idolatry man christianity's idolatry believing in pan-africanism kemet worshiping your ancestors all that's idolatry man for they have turned their back unto me and not their face. But in the time of their trouble, they will say, Arise and save us. And that's what's going to happen. Because they know the names of Yahweh Bashem Yahshah. Right? And they're going to see who the men, um, who Yahweh Bashem Yahshah is working with in these last days. Right? And you best believe they're going to want to be down. But the scripture says, What are the Most High going to say through his men? Like we're saying right now, we're going to say, But where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? What about, you? like we're saying right now, what about your Egyptian gods, man, or the gods of Kemet? Let them arise, and if they can save thee in the time of thy trouble, for according to the number of thy cities are thy gods, O Judah. All right? So, where are your gods, man? Now, how come they can't save or deliver you niggas, man? How come they can't save polite out of this situation or young Pharaoh who's given over to strong delusion? Because both of them idiots said the black woman is God. So, nigga, I'm ruling with Kemi. All right. What did the Most High do to Kemi or Pharaoh? Let me read this last precept, Romans 9, 17. So it said, For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, Even for the same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. And call on him, lie, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, the only reason why Egypt became great is because of the Israelites, because of Joseph. All right, he saved Egypt from famine. He was an interpreter of dreams. He was also a physician. Okay. Joseph, man, you're right. He was running the show. All right. And Israel came in and built Egypt up. And then they started afflicting us. But that was all the will of the Heavenly Father anyway, because he told Abraham that. He raised up Egypt so that what? That I might show my power in thee, man. And that my, my, my name might be declared throughout all the earth. And the scripture compares, when you read the scripture, Pharaoh, it compares him to the modern day Pharaoh, Aisha Edom. So the only reason why the Most High raised up Aisha, America, Babylon, this modern day Egypt, is so that he can destroy it. That's why he gave Esau tanks and missiles and drones, okay? And there's all this different technology that he has now, this nanotechnology. All right, that he's doing to try to enhance himself. The most I give you that left hand knowledge so he can build you up, send his son back and destroy you, man. And all you Israelites that's conformed to the ways of the beast, the beast that believes in this image, that believes in this MOB, you're going to share the same fate, man. So that must say, call on your liar. How about Shimei Shalom.